Well, this operation's mammals as long as you're on. Pretty tough to her. Yeah, it was uh, tough but rewarding. I think I've proved I'm ready to step up to a commanding position. And how you're enjoying the r and Yeah, it's been a bit tough too. Certainly, I did feel a big responsibility about it. Um, and, you know, just desperately, obviously, wanted it to be really believable. Um, so, yeah, I did feel a, a lot of pressure. Um, but I think that's a good thing, really, because, you know, it makes you work harder and, and, you know, it gives you the incentive to really want to get it right. You went to see Combat Stress? Yeah, I went to visit Combat Stress for the day as well, um, which was you know amazing help really just I spent the day there and spoke to some psychologists and, and counsellors and two sufferers from PTSD as well Thanks. just found out so much you know so much more the personal side of things r rather than just the facts and figures it was just the idea of what, what's it like to be a mother after seeing these things and, and coming back to your own child and what effect can that have on, on your own child and a lot of these case studies that I was reading this uh, children were very often a kind of defining defining factor in PTSD the relationship in the film is between Susie and her daughter Cass. My legs are hurting, can we stop? It was only in the final stage of casting that the producers learned Chloe Jane Wilkinson is in fact a forces kid in real life. She's fantastic, she's so, um, she's just such a lovely little girl and really confident and funny and you know really enjoyed the whole process of filming, really wanted to be there. Um, and obviously with the background of her mum and dad's been in the forces, they're, they're no lo they no longer are e either of them, but um, she had a little bit of knowledge. I'm tired, Mum. Yeah, this is really exciting now, isn't it? And then the roles are reversed in the sense that your daughter has to mother you. It was fantastic, really. We were so lucky to get her and you know, be so intelligent with it as well. Have you thought about how the forces audience would react to it and how it might affect them? Soldiers seeing the film and people involved in the military seeing the film was probably one of the things that I was most kind of nervous about the way that we, they would respond. Um, we worked with combat stress uh, in the script writing stage and, and have kind of endorsed it. On top of that, you know, some soldiers have also seen the film now and, and uh, it's, I think in some cases it's very close to the bone but they, they've responded well to it. It was important for me that it came back to the issue at the end of the film and that people were engaged with this one woman's uh, plight and story in the film but that it said something much bigger. So I kind of wanted to ele elevate the, the, the story from just this one woman's experience to, you know, this is something that's happening around us all in society. It's human to be affected by that, wh whatever way it is, you know, when we can't help but be affected by well, those things and I think, it, you know, I think it would be nice if people had more of a respect for not only you know, the forces and, and, and what they do physically, but also it's a real vocation. One of the things that people have expressed about the film is that it's a film that you never really feel safe in. And it's, it's got a kind of thriller, quite gri gripping feel to it. And I, and I think in a way that sort of reflects the uh, condition. Because um, obviously there's, there's sort of psychological and physiological um, symptoms are, are so severe that they can propel someone back to a state of alert as if in a war zone. So, um, yeah, someone who's coming along to see the film uh, expected a, a, bit of a, a bit of a roller coaster of a journey and, uh, yeah, hopefully it also makes people think about this important issue and, um, and how it reflects on society.